Hello everybody, I miss you all so much. Um, this week, instead of having a video to watch and a quizzes assignment to complete, um, I'd like it if you just watched this video this week. Um, I'd like to read you a story that maybe um, kind of connects math and maybe any feelings you might be having right now stuck in quarantine. Um, I know we're kind of just going through the days over and over and over again. Um, so let's try to put some mathematical feeling behind that. Um, the story I'd like to read is called Infinity and Me. I just really like the cover of this. It's just a bunch of numbers that go on forever. Think about, um, what was that word called when a number went on forever and ever and ever and had no pattern? Irrational, maybe. Okay. I promise I'll just read the story now. The night I got my new red shoes, I couldn't wait to wear them to school. I was too excited to sleep, so I went outside and sat on the lawn. When I looked up, I shivered. The sky seemed so huge and cold. How many stars were in the sky? A million? A billion? Maybe that number was as big as infinity. I started to feel very, very small. How could I even think about something as big as infinity? At school the next day, I asked my friend Charlie how he imagines infinity. That's easy, Uma, he said. It's a giant number that keeps growing bigger and bigger forever. I thought about trying to write that number down. Even if I lived forever, I would never finish. I went to get ice cream after school with my best friend, Samantha. Sam, I asked her, when you think about infinity, what do you see? I see the infinity symbol, she said. It looks kind of like an eight that fell over and took a nap. If it were a racetrack, I could drive around it forever. Samantha made me feel a little better. Writing that symbol wouldn't take long at all. I traced a napping eight in the dirt with my shoe. Before school the next day, I asked grandma how she imagines infinity. She smiled at me and said, I like to think about a family. First, you have the great grandparents then the grandparents, parents, children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. It could go on forever. I couldn't really imagine that many people in one family, but I did realize something. It was hard to talk about infinity without talking about forever. I also realized something else. Not one person noticed my new red shoes. Not even grandma, who usually notices everything. I looked down to make sure that they were still shiny. Then I started to wonder, what would I like to do forever? At first, I thought that I might like to have recess forever. But if there's no school before recess and no school after recess, is it really even recess anymore?
Maybe I'd like to be eight forever. But I didn't know if Samantha would still want to be my best friend when she was 85 and I was still eight. Maybe I could lick an ice cream cone forever, but what if my tongue started to hurt? Actually, my head was starting to hurt from all of these thoughts. When I went to the lunchroom, I asked our cook, Mr. Mancini, how he imagines infinity. He held up a noodle. How many times do you think you could cut this in half? He asked. I cut it in half six times, but then it got too small and I was afraid I might cut my finger instead of a noodle. In your mind, Mr. Mancini said, could you cut that tiny piece of noodle in half forever? I asked Ms. Reed, our music teacher, about infinity and wished I hadn't. Picture music that goes in a circle, she said. The notes would lead us around and around. The music would be endless. I was starting to think that my questions about infinity might be endless. It was time for me and my red shoes to go home. For dinner, Grandma made my favorite meal, butter, chicken, and rice. As she mixed the spices, she looked at me and said, Oma, I meant to tell you this morning. Those are the most beautiful shoes I have ever seen. I didn't hear the rest of what Grandma had to say. I was too busy smiling. Right then, I knew my love for her was as big as infinity. That night, I asked her if she would like to look at the stars with me. She snuggled, I snuggled up next to Grandma. The sky didn't seem so huge and cold anymore. Now it was more like a sparkly blanket covering us both. And that is the end of the story, Infinity and Me. Um, I just wanted you guys to be able to kind of get a feeling about what our days are like right now, going around and around and around. It feels like we're doing the same thing forever, but sometimes forever doesn't have to be so bad, just like Uma found out about her love for her grandma. Um, I love you guys a ton, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to me um, through Schoology or my email, and many of your parents also have my phone number. Feel free to do that too. Um, I miss you guys a ton, and I hope that you all have a great rest of your virtual 8th grade year and a wonderful start to ninth grade whenever that may be. I love you guys. Bye.